How's it going everyone? I'm Taylor with Pocket Now, and we're here at CES at the LG booth taking a look at the new LG Lifeband Touch. So basically this is the LG's take on the new wearable, the fitness tracker that has been kind of the, the hot thing for the last year or so. Um, this is very similar to everything we've seen. It's got an OLED display on it here, and it's actually tons sensitive as the name suggests. Um, but you can swipe through menus here. This button is kind of like your selector for different menus, and you can swipe through the menus to get to different things. I accidentally touched that instead of swipe, so we're starting a, a timer for our workout here, and to get through that, we can actually top, tap it and hit stop to stop, or we can resume it by tapping again. Um, and you can swipe left here, or to the right here, to get to your different menus um, for different things. So your heart rate, which should actually read your heart rate through an earbud that it connects through Bluetooth. This is your distance traveled, and you can tap through these different things to get to goals. If we can swipe through here, it seems to be a little sensitive, but if we swipe through, you can tap to get different goals on different types of workouts and things you're doing like steps, it tracks your steps and your calories burn, the distance, and it also actually keeps the time. Um, if you switch over to this time view here, it gives you the time and you can also swipe through to get your battery status and the date. So if you swipe over here from the clock, you get to the battery status. This gives you kind of just a, a visual representation of the battery. Um, we were told it gets either or anywhere between two to five days on battery life. So you can expect to charge it every so often. And actually, if we come right over here, you can see the charging dot for this Lifeband Touch. So with this, we actually get notifications on this as well. You get call notifications. You can't actually answer a call if it comes in. You'll have to pull your phone out of your pocket or grab your phone to answer the call, but you can dismiss with a, with a very simple gesture. Simply cover it up to silence the call. So that's very You also have music controls on the Life and Touch. Basic functions, you know, play, pause, um, volume, and you can also use third-party apps. So if you don't want to use LG's stock app for the Lifeband Touch, you can use other fitness apps like RunKeeper, MyFitnessPal, or Polar, and different types of applications, third-party applications, which you can do with other um, wearables with fitness trackers. So it's very basic in functionality. It has a companion app, which is available on Android and iOS, and it seems to be basically along the lines of what we've been seeing with the competition here. This is the Fitbit Flex, so it doesn't have a display. The Force, the new Fitbit does, but this one just gives you your updates on your goals, but with a double tap with the little LED notifications. So this is the LG Lifeband Touch. Very simple. Um, there's no price given right now. The expected launch date is spring. And this is the LG Lifeband Touch. I'm Taylor with Pocket Now. Anton behind the camera and Michael's off editing video somewhere in the press room or somewhere else. So stay tuned for more CES coverage from Pocket Now. I'm Taylor Martin and I'll see you next time.